My favourite molecule is probably luminol. I just like that it lights up on its own. Something explosive. <laughs> a liquid. Because I like being free. I would be an acid base reaction. My favourite element is copper. I really like blue solutions. I think benzene. Phosphorus. <laughs> can do so much chemistry. The beginning of the degree, we teach basic science. Right at the end of the degree, we do a final year research project. So students can move from doing just the learning of science in early years and then at the end of their degree they are creating new science. The chemistry department is a really central hub but it's great just to have everything in one place. It makes it quite easy at the start of term when you're still trying to navigate the university campus. There's four lecture theatres, there's a big library just for chemistry students. The labs are state of the art, newly made, they're really amazing. Probably the best of the country from the unis I've visited. In lab session you get a small lab group to work together every time so you get to build friendships during that long period of lab hours as well. You're basically best friends with your lab partner by the end of the year. We make our lectures more interactive by stopping the lecture part way through, asking a question based on the material that they've just heard and the students respond through their mobile phones. So the lecture is much more responsive to the student understanding of the material that we deliver. Here at Bristol we have a really unique tool, the Dynamic Lab Manual. Um, it's really useful for helping you to prepare for experiments before you go into the labs. You can see all the different techniques and learn about them so that when you actually go into the labs for the first time, uh, you're more confident in trying out these new things. When I found out about the DLM, I was absolutely ecstatic. This is the undergrad textbook that a lot of students use throughout the country and we actually have uh, Jonathan Clayden who's one of the authors here in the department which is just very cool. <laughs> the quality of teaching here is amazing. You've got so many lecturers that are doing cutting edge research. If you ever have any problems you can either go see them after a lecture or you can go to their office, they'll be more than happy to help. During first year I struggled a bit with some of my exams. Um, my tutor and some of the academic staff were amazing to me and they gave me all the support I needed. The lecturers know what they're doing and they are experts in their field and then they'd help us digest the material as well. It's a really nice environment to be a part of when you know that there's so many people all under the same roof who understand you and get you. You can study abroad, you can study in continental Europe, you can do an industrial experience. I've been in a year in industry now, that was fantastic. Um, I actually was out in Switzerland last year working for a pharmaceutical company and the experience I gained there was so useful and really developed me as a person. As an international student, I found the course here at Bristol really valuable for money because we got a lot of contact hours and we got really good facilities. Studying chemistry at Bristol, you pick up so many transferable skills, which is really great. Things such as presenting and learning how to put across your ideas. My journey has been tough, it's been amazing though and I've met some amazing people and they've really inspired me to want to push um, further in academia. If you're hardworking and determined and have a scientific mind, chemistry is perfect for you. If you're social and you love having plenty of things to do, then Bristol's perfect for you. Bristol's a really great place to live. It's such a small but busy city. You never feel lost in it, but there's always stuff going on. I knew that when I first came with my dad, uh, I'd almost fallen in love with the city immediately. This is my home now, so I definitely would love to come back to Bristol eventually if they'd have me. 